Following on from the visit that I made to the temple complex at Philae, even though it's not on Philae Island anymore, it made me wonder what did it look like before the Aswan Dam, before it got moved to the new island. So I did some research and I found as many photos or paintings or sketches as I could of the way that it used to look. And it's pretty impressive that it pretty much does look the similar way, except it's in better condition now because it's been restored and uh, the archaeologists have done an absolutely lovely job on it. But it's very interesting because I recognize so many of the places within the Philae complex that I've actually been to and looked at and that makes it extremely interesting to me. But one of the reasons that I found the whole thing quite intriguing was because the original island was on a much harder stone and it was basically uh, more resonant, it had better frequencies and yet the temple of Isis at Philae had a very intriguing effect on me and made me feel very dizzy and the vibrations there were so intense that I couldn't help but wonder what would it have been like on the original island. It would have probably knocked me out completely. But uh, anyway, these photos and um, pictures from the bygone era are, are fascinating, especially the ones that have been coloured to um, show the beautiful colours that were in the temples. And they're not there anymore, sadly. But uh, I'll just keep going with these photos and then afterwards we'll move on to when the dam was built. Oh, these are just some of the uh, drawings of what was on the walls in the original and the way that they look now they're very much more run down so I just popped those in because it was interesting. You can see it was quite low-lying and um, if you check out the rocks that are around each of the ends of the islands, that's all the only bits that are sticking up now out of the water. It's easy to recognise those rocks because we drove past in the boat and uh, the guide said, look, that's all that's left. And then when I looked at the old pictures, I could see those parts of the island. It, uh, See, there's those rocks. And here's a map of the original island and a more detailed one of the complex on the original island. And now we're going to move on to the flooding after the Aswan Dam. It's actually quite heartbreaking. You just... Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I when I saw it, that the Aswan Dam had just caused all these beautiful, beautiful buildings to mostly be underwater. Well, at least one third of them underwater. So when the tourists went to visit, they had to get a boat and they would just sail around the, the complex and have a look at all the things from within the boat. And when you go to the island, now in a new island you see the water level you see the difference on the buildings where the water had done some damage to the buildings it's uh oh it's just heartbreaking seeing it partially underwater really sad beautiful but sad thank goodness they uh, took the initiative and um, moved it so it must have been one enormous job and uh, 
I believe it, it started in the 60s and then went through the 70s and it was quite a big job because initially they had to create this wall around it, which you can see in the photos, and then pump out all the water before they could even start moving it. And look at all that equipment. What an enormous job that was. And to make sure that they dismantled and reassembled it exactly the same. I mean, wow. And I've just thrown in a few photos of what it looks like now, just to make the whole thing complete, just so that you can see how beautiful it is. And uh, go back and check my, my personal visit. I think you'll find it interesting. All right, thanks, bye.